politically incorrect, the show that doesn't pull its punches. On an earlier edition of the show, Manishankar Ayer made waves when he said Sports Minister Ajay Markin's letter to the Prime Minister criticizing money was uh, written in perfect Hansraj College English and that he must have had a thesaurus with him because he used big words like dichotomous that he's unlikely to have known. They set off a raging debate about whether some colleges believe they're a cut above the rest. Tonight, we come to you from Miranda House in Delhi, a prestigious college, no doubt. And we're asking whether it's elitism or the pursuit of excellence. Mani, let me begin with you, since you've been at the center of all of this. Um, many believe that your remarks were sort of St. Stephen's snobbery at its worst. But uh, do you think it's acceptable for someone committed to egalitarian ideals to brag about his college or put down another? Actually, if you tear my remark out of context and show it as a gratuitous remark standing on its own, then you're quite right. It would reflect uh, a certain kind of snobbery. But what did I in fact say? And it wasn't so much your program. It was much more another channel, an absolutely useless, rotten, unethical channel, which interviewed me for 20 minutes and then pulled out 20 seconds of what I said and went on and on flogging it on TV. But to them, what I said was the following. I said that as soon as the letter was delivered to me, I read it and I couldn't believe that it was authentic. So I wrote a letter to Ajay Markan, whom I've known for 15, 16 years, and whose family I've known for 25, 30 years, and said, dear Ajay, please let me know whether the news reports that have arrived are authentic, or alternatively, send me an authentic copy of what you wrote. And the reason I said in that TV program why I had my doubts about its authenticity was that Ajay Markan, who is, it's a matter of record, a BA pass from Hansraj College, used a word like dichotomous, which even I had considerable difficulty understanding. I said I, it may have been at someone else's dictation, or it may not even be a bogus letter that has been sent to me. So give me the authenticity. Now, if this context had been there, I doubt that it would have created the storm. But is it also true that students of Hansraj College actually uh, came to a talk in St. Stephen's College and you told them that uh, Mr. Markin's uh, uh, only handicap was the fact that he had studied in Hansraj College? Well, you know, at one point, if you start making such a big hoo-ha about it, the essential quality of a Stephanian comes out. And what is that? It is the capacity to laugh at ourselves. I just mentioned our auditorium. In front of us, as distinct from the back, it's written up, Jesus said, I am the light of the world. And Amin Saab translated it as, Yesu ne kaha ki main nur jahan. Now, this is the characteristic of St. Stephen's. We laugh at ourselves. Humor, biting wit, or something more, when we bring in college talk, is it a way of sort of establishing pedigree in a country where sort of status signs or signals are watched very closely in any sort of gathering? Is this a way of immediately establishing pedigree? I think the implication of your question is that only Stephanians have a sense of humor and that others don't. No, I, uh, I don't think that was my point at all. <laughs> You see, there, there are a lot of things to be said for money. He has erudition, he has wit, but he also has what I might call puerility. And I think the latter two are completely inseparable. So it's not merely that his was disparaging of Ajay Markin's education, which I'm told the principal of Hansraj College clarified and said he didn't do BA pass, he did BSc general. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, he's hidden it. In his bio data, he has said BA from Delhi University, uh, whereas my bio data says BA honors from St. Stephen's College, Delhi. But that's exactly no. it. This is the point we're making. You know, money, let me is, just is, isn't this a sort of elitism then? Why is there not a difference between somebody who does BSc general and BA honors? You ask all of them. They got in to BA honors or BSc honors because they had a higher mark. They had to cross a much higher cutoff. And if they're doing BSc physics, it means that they're Albert Einstein. You can't get in without that. So why is the pursuit of excellence 
And that's the question you put before us. Why is the pursuit of excellence to be confused with elitism? NDTV's Cricket app, Android and iPhone, faster scorecard, special analysis, and much more. Download free. NDTV.com slash apps.